So the whole group rotation model is where you have the whole group together and you transition between on and offline activities. Right now, you should be researching for your data, copying and pasting data, but what do you also need to be collecting as you're grabbing data? The goals of today's writing lesson are really to have students practice argumentative writing, respond to feedback, and working on pulling research from credible online sources to populate their argumentative paragraphs. I think for really traditional teachers, the whole group instruction or the whole group rotation is probably a little bit easier of the initial for the initial transition where you know typically without technology a teacher would lead a class through a series of activities in a lesson and you're doing the same thing in the whole group rotation you're just rotating through activities that are online versus activities that are offline so it kind of models a traditional classroom except you have that technology add that still allows students to control kind of the pace at which they're learning and even the path at which they're learning. So for me as a teacher, when I'm teaching writing, there's so many moving parts to writing, especially when you get into extended process papers or process pieces where students have to start with an intro, they need to have a thesis statement, they have these body paragraphs, or they're doing narrative writing, and there's dialogue and there's sensory details, and all of that can be really hard to teach. So we've done a lot of argumentative writing about literature, but this is argumentative writing that's really grounded in research they're doing, not in a text. And so I want them to understand the difference between writing a thesis statement for uh, an argumentative piece that's focused on a literary text and an argumentative piece that's grounded in research and kids can work through that skill. And then once they're done, we can move again to an activity that asks them to think about that skill lesson and apply it to the writing that we're currently working on. So I am going to open up your documents in my view of Google Classroom. So as you guys are working right now, I'll be jumping in, giving you feedback. They're um, each right in now. their own Google document working on a draft of an argumentative paragraph, doing some research to pull in data to support their points. I will simultaneously be in their documents offering support, co leaving comments, um, kind of suggesting areas of improvement. And what's really exciting about synchronous editing is kids are in there and they're making mistakes and they need support and I can give it to them in real time so they don't repeat mistakes and continually face challenges they're not sure how to overcome inside their documents. So it's a way for me to really value the process of writing instead of putting all of my energy on the end product. I like Ms. Tugger uh, see what I'm writing when I'm doing it because it helps, uh, it helps me like know what I'm doing wrong so she can correct it for me right when I'm writing. I don't have a one-to-one -one environment every day, but I was able to check out the Chromebook cart for my lesson today so students could move from those offline activities to the online activities and everybody would have a computer to work on. What's helpful when a teacher is doing synchronous editing is sit in a spot in the class where you can make eye contact with kids, where you can kind of see, because you'll, you'll notice kids who aren't typing and they might just be thinking or they might be distracted or they might just really need help and not want to ask for it. So stay visible, open as many documents at a time as your computer can handle and then bounce around in them. Give feedback and then check out a few, see that kids are working and then give feedback to the next one. but I want you to copy and paste a paragraph and then put it into the study sync write assignment. And I want you guys to give each other peer feedback on just one paragraph. What would be the most helpful in terms of feedback? What things do you wish your peers would look at and comment on when they're reviewing your study sync, your work on study sync? And particularly for this argumentative piece, what would you like them to focus on and look for? The peer review platform is just another opportunity to get eyes on student writing. There are 90 of them and just one of me. And so in addition to synchronous editing, which I do frequently with them, I also see a lot of value in getting them to read and provide feedback for their peers. 
they're not necessarily great at that out of the gate, so they definitely need a lot of support. But I feel like if I can kind of help train them to be better peer reviewers, then that study sync platform offers them another chance to get some constructive criticism on their writing. So the first thing that I spend my energy doing is making sure that those directions for peer reviews are really specific. I want you to read it and comment on these specific elements of writing. Do it in paragraph form with lots of detail. So those directions are a good place to start so that they know exactly what they're pulling out. But I also take anonymous samples of their peer reviews and I will create a sheet of paper with say five anonymous responses and they work in groups and they'll read through them and they have to critique them. So what's strong about this response? What's missing from this response? How could this response be improved? And I think bringing that critical eye to the peer reviews that have been posted helps them to improve theirs the next time around. As you're correcting what your peers did, you learn more about what you, you could do as well. I mean, they live in a society where they get constant commentary on all fronts, social media, etc. And so with writing, if they turn in a rough draft and they don't see that rough draft for a week, the distance between when they wrote it and that feedback creates this kind of disconnect in their writing process. So when they get immediate feedback, there's a better chance I think that they're gonna go back in, they're gonna take those edits, they're gonna make the changes and hopefully improve their writing.